Yo, yo, what's up? This is B Major, Upside Down Always, and I get my R&B from thisisrnb.com. Two people, both, Trey's cousin, Jay, heard my tracks through one of some of his boys, like, through the internet, and it was, this is before Trey was known, right before. And so it kind of went to Trey first, and then to Troy, and then it came back again from, I don't know if you know, Bobby Fisher. Yeah. It's Bobby right, Fisher, right. yeah, he was, um, he heard some of my stuff, and Took it to Troy and Troy was like, Whoa, was this guy? And, and so then I re got back with Trey. Trey was like, Oh, yeah, I talked to that guy already. I know him from Jay. So it was kind of like, Oh, I just feel the work, feel like that. Right. And Troy, was, Troy was big, um, helping me. And, and I just wrote him the other day, man. Like, yo, thanks for because in, in, in letting me find my style, like embracing my style, I would do, I still do, like, man, it's quirky, kind of like it's its own thing. And I think that. Pro's cool and letting me just do that, you know what I mean? And, and, and not like, not to change it too much, but just try to refine it to become, you know, people can understand what I really is in my head. So, with, um, we started it, me and another guy who wrote on there, um, e -Miles. Mm -hmm. Um, We started it, he's at e shout out to e -Miles. he's actually featured on my mixtape. Song called Dream Killers. But um, we started the idea, um, I think he just had some melodies and some ideas, and um, he let Trey hear it. And Trey came to the studio um, in Atlanta, and Trey was like, whoa, we, you know, it was crazy. And he, he thought of, sorted out the whole concept, and he did it that day. And that's one of my favorite songs I did today, just because I feel like that's new style, like that. Those sounds, I feel like I've never heard no one put together sounds like that since or before, and I can't even do it again if I try, but it's just was that, that moment, like, you know, electronic, crazy, um, you know, like synths, and then there's like rock guitars, and the drums are kind of hip hop, but dirty rock a little bit, so I think that was, that was just, I'm still working on it, man. I can't really say, I, I could, if I had to finish today, I, I would have an album, but I still, every day, I just keep knocking songs off and putting different songs and recording, so, but it will come out next year. Okay, cool. So, I mean, I, I don't know, you probably saying you're not sure, but are you doing more rapping, singing, like? Um, it's more, it's more melodic. It's, it's more definitely melodic. more melodic, man. Like, all the songs have some type of melody. I might have a couple with just rapping, but most of them are gonna be have, have some singing. Just learning, man, just learning. Like, I wanted to make beats, so I just got some programs. I started making tracks, started going and watching tutorials. I started doing, you know, listening to other people. I wanted to make songs, started writing. Uh, started hanging, I started Neo. I was like, whoa, it's cool. I wanna learn how to do that. I saw like, I wanted to record my own songs. I didn't have no engineer. So I learned how to record, you know what I mean? So like that was, that's always been my whole life. I wanted videos, didn't have no videos. So I got a camera and learned how to direct it. You know what I'm saying? So that was, that's been my whole thing, kind of my whole career just. And not even because I chose to, kind of out of necessity. Like I didn't have people do certain things, so that became my style. And and, and like some of the things that that were necessarily weren't uh, weren't right, they were like wrong. That became kind of my style, and I, and I used it as art. I didn't know how to do it, so I was like, oh, that sounds cool, the story or whatever. But you know what I'm saying? It sounds cool, and I just ran with it, and it became kind of my style. Mm.